But there's also sound, right? There's words that have you know, a sound frequency. Because he's putting, he's putting I hate you on a jar. He's putting I love you. And there's a feeling behind that. It's not a sound wave. I think it's more of a feeling, an energy system, right? But your voice, my voice, is moving your body right now, isn't it? You're actually my vocal coach, Roger Love, amazing vocal coach. He says, when you sing, you vibrate the person's body, especially in a room like this where you're feeling the energy of Kirsten and I singing, the melodies, the harmonies, the songs, they're moving your body. And it's creating frequency in your body, it's creating shapes in your body as well. It's called somatics. Somatics is this, this interesting study of waters with tone. So there, that's a subwoofer. Can you kind of see the big subwoofer? That's a, that's a pan of water sitting on a subwoofer. And there's not a coherent frequency. Like, we're, we're, like I just played the G on the guitar, or no, a B minor on the guitar for Trapping the Bottle for Kirsten. So that's a tone. That's an in-tune tone. This is dissonance. This is not a tone. That is a tuned tone. Look at that. Looks like a sun, right? Looks like little tadpoles out here. That is a tuned tone. I'm not sure what note it is, but that is what somatics and the energy. So imagine when you're singing, right? What we chant, we pray. Just imagine how you get in alignment when you do that, right? And you say good things when you sing or when you're chanting, like when Monique's playing the gong, you feel a frequency. It's not going to be this. A tone that's coming off that moves your body, moves the energy of your body, it's going to have coherence. It's going to have a semblance. It's going to have organization. So this is the flower of life. Anybody familiar with the flower of life? 61 concentric circles make up the flower of life. This shape shows up everywhere in nature. It's also called the fruit of life. The 13 circles in here, on this one, there's 13 circles that make up like the core, the fruit of life. So this is a slide over here. There's water being tuned. I'm not sure what frequency. I think it might be an A or, a, or A flat. But this is the kind of coherent energy that water is affected by. So basically they take the subwoofer, they put the tone on it, and then they play a tone, and then it automatically assembles into a coherent shape. So when you think about the words you tell yourself, and you think about just the feelings you have with those words, and you think about the, when you speak, you're putting tones into the world. You're putting tones into your body as well. When I sing, it feels good, right? When you sing, even if you can't sing, when you try to sing, you try to carry a tune, there's something that lightens you up. There's levity. And that's a clue. Even if you're not totally in tune, there's still a movement of energy in your body. And imagine how it affects the fluid in your body, because we're mostly water. So if you're looking to try and create coherence in your body, that's why praying and chanting and singing, we're in church, you sing hymns. We're all moving this coherent energy. It's like you're in a stadium of people. And coherence is a rhythm is when you, you're in a stadium, and everybody's clapping at the same time, right? That's creating coherence. Incoherence is out of sync, right? Coherence. We're having coherent energy in this room right now. You can feel it. And each day, each session, you'll realize the energy seems to be leveling up. We're tuning up is what's happening. And so the energy in your body is changing. The frequency in your body is changing. The gong, when we're singing, when you're meeting with other people, when you're collaborating, you are changing. You're changing for the better. And then when you have anything, I love, I love being of service to people. Because when you give out, there's this thing called the law of attraction, right? Like attracts like. I think Newton called it the third law of motion, a, you know, reaction to action, you know, uh, a force that is, you know, in motion is going to be met by an equal and opposite reaction. There's also this law of attraction. Whatever you put out in the world, good or bad, it's going to come back to you like a boomerang or a mirror or a reflex or an echo.